Hey there, water signs. Welcome to your mid-November reading. I apologize for being late on the November monthlies. This is what's going to have to do for now. So, mid-month water signs, November 2018, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. I'm going to pull an Archangel Michael Oracle first. And let's see what's going on. What kind of blessings does Archangel Michael have for you all? Please remember that not all messages will resonate with everyone. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and never force the message to apply. Okay, I want to thank everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I appreciate each and every one of you. Archangel Michael, what message do you have for water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're on the right path. Okay. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. That is for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to pull an oracle for each sign and then we'll clarify what's ahead. November 11th through the 30th. What do we have going on for water signs? Oh. Pisces. Card for Pisces, please. November 11th through November 30th. Pisces, November 11th through the 30th. Okay. Choose a new direction. If you're at a dead-end job, if there's a relationship that's not working out, if there is something that you have just dug your heels in, that you are just dead set on making it happen and waiting for the results that you've been wanting, choose a new direction. Does not mean before you start thinking, wait a minute, Monica. No, this is for me. There are certain situations for some of you guys, okay? The end result may be the right path for you. However, your way to that end result is what you may need to change. So if you've been playing, you know, the game of let me try this, let me try that, you've maybe tried different, um, different ways of getting to whatever your uh, end result is, your, how do I say this? Whatever your goal may be in this situation, if it's moving, if it's a job, if it's uh, a new house, a new job, a career change, a new relationship, or a current relationship, a friendship that maybe you've been trying to fix, choose a new direction. I feel that somebody here has been trying to mend a relationship with someone. And when I say relationships, they don't always mean love, okay? Because I feel that for some of you, it may be with a sibling. Others, it may be with a parent. I also feel someone with a coworker or friend. Choose a new direction in this situation. I feel as though it's a new approach that you need to uh, change. You know, it's, it's, it's changing the way you approach this person, this situation to get to the end result that you want. Because essentially what the angels are saying is the way you've been handling this will not give you the best result or the end result that you want. Cancer. Wow, that was quick. Went crazy. Wow, Cancer abundance. Capricorn just had that one. Abundance, remember, abundance doesn't have to just be financially. Whatever aspect of your life in which you do need a change of pace, or you do feel as though you are lacking abundance, friendship, relationship, money, uh, stability in the home, whatever that may be for you, 
you have the ability to manifest the abundance is coming your way those opportunities that you've been waiting for new job promotion whatever it may be it is opening up for you scorpio what do we have for scorpio november 11th through the 30th and Scorpio took a long time to come out come on Scorpio what's going on with you romance okay Scorpio you got a new love interest coming in or perhaps a current one that you're trying to rekindle maybe you're trying to refresh the current relationship maybe some of you with Venus retrograde were trying to get back in a good place with someone from your past You've been trying to rekindle a romance relationship with an ex-partner. Some of you have been so bogged down in whatever it is that you've been working on that you've been so consumed by that the romance has kind of fell to the wayside and now you're trying to make up for it. Now you're trying to make up for all the, <coughs> excuse me, all that time that you spent apart from your partner. I apologize for that skip there. My throat felt dry, Scorpio. I feel as though for some of you, there is a relationship you're trying to rekindle. There is a relationship that you are trying to either, it's a new person and your focus is on other th everything except romance. And for some of you, it is trying to get back together with a partner from your past. And you're not saying anything. You've accepted things the way they are. You know you have other, other what I feel here is that you have other things in the works. And so you see romance as another pet project that you just can't take on right now. We'll clarify that in just a minute. Let's go back to Pisces. So choose a new direction. Pisces, choose a new direction. It's about working together. It's about coming together. With that page of swords, I am feeling and the temperance card. For some, there is a need to work together with other people. However, we've got a, you know, petty patty here who's just not willing to work together with people. It's like, no, I refuse to work with that person. No, I refuse to meet that person halfway. This is someone with a sense of entitlement that just refuses to accept any offer that comes their way. Because what they see is that's not what I want. I want what I want. I want it my way. And so I'm not taking the offer you're giving me because that's not what I want. What you don't realize is that the offer that you are getting may lead to what it is that you do want. And in order for that to happen, you need to be able to come together with other people. You need to see the situation for all the sides of the situation that there is. It's not just black and white. It's not just you and them. It's a collective. It's everyone as a whole. It's about being able to work together and really seeing it as you are getting additional assistance, additional help, additional guidance that will get you to that end goal that much faster. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to cut people out saying, no, I'm going to do it my way and I want to hurry up and do it because I want those results now. The angels are saying, stop. Nothing wrong with the end result that you want, but choose a new direction because we're sending you Helpers will sending you guidance. People that can 
view your situation objectively. People that can, you know, make suggestions of, hey, you know what? This whole situation that has been weighing on you, it's time to cut it out. And maybe not so be not be so rushed towards that end result. Because in your situation right now, you're feeling four of cups. You're not realizing that the offer is coming or the offer is here for some of you. And so you're sitting there like, no, no, thanks. Not what I want. Thanks anyway. Come on, Pisces. Chariot card. Seven of Cups. Uh huh. Knight of Wands. Judgment card. Mm hmm. And the Nine of Pentacles. Check out this lighting just a second. Okay, I'm afraid it might be a little too dark. Here we go. Okay, I hope that lighting is better. So, what happens when you pretend as though, no, you don't want this offer? You know you do. Stop being petty about it. Maybe it's not the offer in its entirety. Maybe you're only getting half of what you think you deserve or half of what you want. And so your first instinct is to just run and say, no, fuck this. I know what I want. There is an opportunity for victory here. You're just not seeing that some of these people are here to guide you. Remember, you're on the right path. But choose a new approach. Choose a new direction. Stop veering off that path because what essentially happens is you end up stuck in confusion. You start overthinking things and it becomes a sense of everything is an illusion. I was wrong. I'm ready to run away. And then you get into this judgment mode of wanting a do-over. And what happens when you do this do-over? You go from the Nine of Pentacles back to the Three of Pentacles, realizing, you know what? I should have taken their advice. I should have listened to them. Tell me again what it is I should do. Only now you're going to be, you know, delayed and trying to catch up to what you should have done mid-month. And now you're trying to do it beginning of December because it will take you that long, maybe even longer for some of you, to realize that yes, I wanna to come together with someone in business, in love, whatever it may be. Release yourself from the confusion and the illusion. These people that come in, these people that are around you, they are, they are here to help you and assist you. You have two sevens here back to back. If you have someone who is a bit wishy-washy and not very dependable when they come in to try to help you, or perhaps it's that person that you are waiting on. If they come in and bring you confusion, it's time for you to really cut through all of it. Release yourself from it. Understand you do need a do-over because you need to learn from your mistakes and realize if you need to go it alone, so be it. Go it alone. Choose a new direction doesn't mean choose a new outcome. The end result may still be there for some of you. You're going about it the wrong way. And the angels have sent you help, guidance, assistance. Because there are so many times where we can get tunnel vision and we get into this obsessive mode of, no, this is what I want and this is how I want it. 
Um, that's great, Pisces. The universe doesn't always agree with us. And therefore, they send us these type of little tests to figure out where do we go from here? What do we do from here? And so take a moment to realize that these people that are here for you are here to help you, are here to guide you, are here to help you choose a new direction, choose a new approach. Message from your angels for Pisces. What's the most important message for Pisces, please? So if this is a relationship, our um, angel Daniel, I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. Those of you that are marriage minded on the path towards marriage or are thinking that that is where you need to be choose a new direction choose a new approach things don't always have to be so cut and dry black and white life tends to send us speed bumps right how we handle those speed bumps how we handle the interruptions of life is a part of our path is a part of who we are, who we become. As we try to manifest this end result for some, it's marriage. Okay, Pisces, that was your reading. Let's move on to Cancer Abundance. Nice. Cancer, Capricorn also had Card of Abundance. And as with them, I associate the abundance card with whatever area in your life that you feel, that you yourself feel you are lacking abundance. The one thing you are missing, you've graduated college, you've graduated, uh, you've got your degrees and you're missing that great career. You're missing that partner. Now that you've gotten your career, bought your home, you're ready for wife and child, husband and kids, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. You definitely come into some abundance. Okay, five of swords. I don't recall if that one also came in for Capricorn. And if Cancer has something going on with Capricorn, they just showed themselves right there with the Devil card. The Strength card. Cancer, November 11th through the 30th. We have another page here, Page of Swords. And King of Swords. Okay, Capricorn. Wow. You've been stuck in your head about a lot of things here. There is some sort of inner conflict. There is something that you feel bound to, tied to. For those of you that have children and you feel as though this is like a single parent home, this is someone who is single and perhaps the child lives with the other parent. There is some news here about finances for some of you. Those of you that are waiting to purchase a home, waiting for um, escrow to close, you get some great news in regards to home for some of you. Uh, home, money, finances, inheritance. You have two fives here, which tells me that there is big change that comes with this abundance. Some of you may be finding out you're pregnant or your, your partner is pregnant, you're expecting a child, you're not quite sure how to handle it and you've just been a little cold and a little put off by the whole situation. You're starting to see that having children means I am bound and tied to them. And you've got a lot of inner conflict, inner turmoil that you're dealing with. You're not, 
Okay, for somebody here, your ex-partner, because you're no longer together, comes back and tells you, hey, I've got some news. I'm expecting, we're having a baby. You don't know how to handle it. It turns into an argument. That argument turns into this conflict within about whether or not you want to continue this type of partnership because now you're thinking, we broke up. How can I keep things civil with this person now that we have a child coming in? For some of you, the pregnancy was hidden for quite some time. You may have an Aquarius baby coming. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So some of you may have a Gemini baby. In any case, you are trying to find your inner strength in order to be able to handle being a parent. For others of you, in regards to this inheritance, you come into some money, however, wow, people are fighting, fighting for this money. Some people may be fighting and saying that they feel that this is unfair. Why do you get the house? Why do you get more money? Why do they get this? Why do they get that? So for those of you that are anticipating an inheritance, you will find out that not everyone got an equal share. It causes, it causes, you know, conflict. You end up being at odds. If you're waiting to hear from this, probate may be extended. It might be, might take longer than what you were anticipating. Just remain the neutral party, remain calm. Try not to continue any type of argument, any type of fighting. Understand that whoever this was that did pass away, if this was a mother or a father, because I see both the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. Honor your parents' wishes, whatever they may be. If your parents left more money to someone, the house to someone else, whatever it may be, honor your parents' wishes. However unfair you may be feeling, it is. I'm going to clarify this. Because this is some really nasty fighting. Over money, over kids, whatever it is. It causes nightmares, up all night, sleepless nights. Those of you that are going through divorce, over custody, alimony, you may have to give up more than you were anticipating. You've got two nines there. You just want to hurry up and run. You're like, fuck this shit, I'm out. I've been through hell and back. This person has caused me so much stress, so much anxiety. And they're trying to take all my money. How can I be there for my child and fork over my entire life savings or check or whatever it may be? I also feel that for some of you, you have a sibling. Those of you waiting on an inheritance, you have a sibling that gets a substantial amount of money that you know has a drinking, gambling, addiction problem. And I feel as though you're all trying to gang up and figure out how the hell do we keep this money away from this person? You're trying to go behind their back. That's what I'm feeling here for some of you. In any case, Cancer, you do come into some money. So, honor your parents' wishes if this is an inheritance from a parent family member, whoever it may be. Try not to 
try not to stay in this arduous oh it's it's just a really ugly ugly fighting mode i feel as though almost as though some of you just are getting texts or calls just to fight like topic of the day let's fight about this let's fight about that did you know mom had this did you know dad had that did you know blah 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 and your day starts and ends in conflict honor yourself honor this person's wishes those of you going through a divorce dealing with you know the financial and the custodial aspect right You may have to find a way to surrender and still honor yourself. Good luck to you, Cancer. This is a really tough one. Let me pull a message from your angels before I finish up on this reading. Okay. For Cancer, Angel Desiree, no Conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. Again, if this is about money, keeping money from someone, hiding money from someone, trying to continue fighting or trying to resolve a situation here, you may need additional help, additional support in order for this to work out. I do see this going for an extended period of time. Good luck to you, Cancer. I wish you the best. Sorry about that, water signs. I had to take a break in the recording. And so let's continue on with Scorpio. Scorpio, you got the romance card, okay? So again, like I had said at the beginning, I feel as though you feel at a place in your life where you have probably put in the least amount of effort in your love life. You kind of already had something there. A part of you wants to bring about some action energy into your romantic life. Perhaps you, you've known that there was no equal give and take because you were so busy with everything else. You weren't speaking your truth in this situation, but you're coming out of those fears and worries that you were taking after a period of, you know, isolation, taking a break. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So if this is a former relationship that did not work out, either with a fire sign, Aries Leo, Sagittarius, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I see strong fire here as well, Aries. So here it is. Whether you're involved with a fire sign or an earth sign, or once were, I feel that you had too many things going on in the background. You've been trying to... You ha I, It's just been a long period of not putting in as much effort or as much as the other person, or as much as you would like to into this romantic situation. The truth is, is that the fears and the feelings, the love, the care for that other person, it's there, but so are the fears. Because if you can't find your financial stability, your stability in the home, the consistency that is required, not just for yourself, but to maintain a relationship. You've just felt as though you couldn't offer that to someone at that time. And maybe you continued on this relationship 
but you had a clear understanding, at least it's what you thought, that you had expressed that you just could not give them what they needed or wanted at that time because of X, Y, Z, whatever it was that you were going through. At the end of the day, I feel that you're going to find your financial footing, your financial stability. You finally feel at ease and comfortable with expressing what it is that you truly want out of this, irregardless of the fact that Maybe you haven't put in as much effort in the past as you wanted to or in the current situation. For some of you, it is a relationship that had to end and now you feel like you're finally gaining enough traction, enough stability where you can make that offer, where you can make, where you can take that leap of faith and just say, you know what, I- I'm in a better place now, better than I was when we were together. I've taken the time to clear away what's been weighing on me, to clear away whatever was blocking this from manifesting. And everything I've done during this period of a break of isolation has been to focus on how I can come back to this relationship, how I can come back to this family, how I can be a better person, head of the household, a stable partner, a better father, a better mother, a better brother, sister, son, daughter. And so now you finally feel that you've made some major leaps and bounds. You've broken through so many obstacles and you've realized how far you've come and it's taken you quite some time to realize this for some of you here I feel as though some of you were dependent on your mother or a mother figure you were an adult you are an adult and they were still taking care of your expenses you were still leaning on them Financially, you were living with them. Until they finally said no more. You need to find your own way. And it took you some time to realize, (laughs) yeah, it is time for me to grow up. It is time for me to move out, for me to get a job, for me to maintain my own expenses, my own wants. And needs for others of you I feel as though if you are that mother figure that has a grown-ass child living with you not working not putting in not helping out they were some sort of block to your romantic life Even though they were grown up, even though they're an adult, you felt as though worrying about their needs, making sure that they are taken care of, was stopping you from starting a new life with someone, from taking that leap of faith, from going out and dating, from you know finding your own partner, being able to manifest this new life. You have this fiery energy within you but at the same time, you're like, I-, I can't, I can't let on all this passion, all this fire, all this, you know, that I have brewing inside me. I've got to be practical because I've got a grown ass child or children still living in my home that can't seem to get it together. But you're coming out of that period of worry, of fear, of anxiety You did go through some dark times. You did go through some tough times. Some of you that are still going through that, you will be getting out of it soon. It's about owning your truth and realizing what it is that you truly want for yourself and how you're going to manifest this. You you take the fire. You take the practicality. 
that essence of being able to get grounded once you realize what your inner truth is, what, what steps you need to take to feel victorious. Do you need to take a break? Do you need to release yourself from the fears, the worry, the anxiety? Take a big leap of faith, jump off a cliff. Not literally, obviously. But you soon realize that all this fire brewing inside you, having all the tools of the trade, having everything in your back pocket. And the essence of being able to make practical, wise choices and decisions. That's enough for you to finally say, I'm ready to put in on this romantic relationship or I'm ready to be open and receive any romantic relationship that crosses my path. Whether it's a new love that comes in, whether it's a current relationship that, to be quite honest, was getting the short end of the stick. Or maybe it's rekindling a relationship for some of you that unfortunately you had to push a relationship aside that never really got to take off, that never really got to be a serious relationship. It was just casual. There was no equal give and take. You knew the other person wanted more. And yet you said, I can't right now. Even though you may have wanted to. And so now you say, fuck it. Let's see how this person's doing. Let's see where this person's at. Let's see if they are open to rekindling this. And if you're still in this relationship, it's like, I need to have a real honest conversation with them about where I'm at and where I want to go. And you finally gain that strength, that stability, that courage to literally say, I'm walking away from my fears that have held me back for so long. I now see myself as the magician and the creator of my life, of my future. I've thought long and hard about this. I've taken a break. I've realized that what wasn't working in the past because there was no equal give and take is what needs to change in order for this to manifest. That essentially is your truth. You finally admit to yourself that what it is that you've been wanting, you may have been blocking yourself all along. And that's not for all of you, but that is for some of you. So Scorpio, that is your mid to end of November reading. You've got romance being rekindled, romance coming in. And let me pull um, messages from your angel's oracle card. Angel Teresa, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself, right? So whatever it was that you were too busy working on, that your romantic life had to fall to the wayside. Angel Teresa is saying, hey, slow down. When do you get to flourish? When do you get to take care of yourself, your needs? You know you want this romantic relationship. When do you get to take care of yourself? When do you get to open up to receiving the love that's there for you? Okay, Scorpio, so that was your reading. Water signs, thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all my returning subscribers. I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if this did not resonate, check out your, um, you know, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Uh, if you're not sure what your, where your placements are at, there's a link in my description box below so that you can get your free natal chart, not affiliated at all, but just so that you're informed of what your other signs are. Um, also, if you'd like to book a personal reading, everything is in the description box below. Take care. Bye.